YouTube channel, my name's Catherine, and today I wanna to show you three ways to wear the clip and bun extension. So if you have the bun in your hand, you're thinking about getting it, or you're just curious on how to achieve these hairstyles with a bun extension, stay tuned and let's get started. So for the first look, I'm actually going to take the bun extension and curl it. The goal of this is to make it look like our hair was curled and we just tossed it up into this tousled bun, but realistically our actual hair is not getting touched and it is the extension. So after curling it, this is what the bun extension looks like. You can see it's just a bunch of curls. I actually am gonna go ahead and use some hairspray because it is human hair and I do want it to sit in this position and have it set. So the next step is taking out a couple of our front pieces, putting the rest of our hair up to where we are going to want it. So when I do this, I like to make my hands like claw shape form um, so that when I do this, it has that texture right here that's on par for the curls in the bun. And then when I get it to the spot I want, I like to hold my hair in place, twist the rest of my hair, and then start spinning it into a tight bun like that. We're using our gravity defying hair tie because they're just a game changer. And then I like to pull out, like you can see here has more texture. So I'll pull out this top piece. And you can leave these pieces like this, but I like to give them a little curl. So I'm going to take the drawstring and loosen it. And then take the bun and actually push it to this position. And you can see it's really, it's pretty stretchy. Like, in through here, it's meant to be able to be malleable over top of your natural bun. So next step, I'm going to take my bun and I like to place it on the top and then pull it down to the base of my natural bun. This is what it looks like. So I take these little prongs and I actually pull the bun and then secure it underneath my bun. The next step is taking the drawstring and then making sure that it's tight. It does go pretty far, so you wanna make sure it's tight. So the next step is that I wanna hide the drawstring. So I actually wrap it in, and then I just tuck it underneath. So I like the hair to be a little bit tacky. I find it's easier to place with the bobby pins and it sits in place better. So what I like to do is, because I'm going to be wrapping hair right here around the front, I'm actually gonna just take hairspray and so I'm gonna take this section of hair. I'm going to wrap it directly around the base. And then I'm just gonna secure it right over here. And now you can see I've covered that area. Now there is the option to take this scrunchie, strategically place it over the bun, and you can leave it like that, or, or take the scrunchie, take this piece of hair, loop it through and around the scrunchie and you can do that with your pieces and just so that's actually what i do with my natural hair if i'm throwing my hair up into a bun i kind of use the elastic as a base to wrap my hair around and get out of the way but the scrunchie and the face framing curls make it a little bit more dressed up and you don't have to use all the bobby pins I'm about to use. To dress this up without the scrunchie or another elastic, I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to take a section of hair and I'm leaving this one out. And because I can't really see where I'm wrapping, I'm actually gonna just spray this piece of hair. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm going to place it and pin it. This is taken shape here. You can see this is kind of the next piece to be wrapped. So the next way I'm doing it is bringing it this way and pinning it over here and here. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to keep doing this until we are happy with the result of our bun. As you saw, I actually pulled out some pieces because I like the little curls dangling at the bottom, at the back. This is personally my favorite way to wear the bun. It gives so much volume for this oversized curled look. Every time I wear this look, I get compliments. Every single time. going to be doing we're going to keep it kind of in this position but we're going to bring the bun a little bit more forward and we're actually going to be bringing these top pieces up because we are going for a classic top knot so I am going to just pull my hair up and kind of smooth it over but not completely because the top knot itself is going to look a little bit messy a little bit last minute um, but if there are any places that are giving too much of a bump I'll just take a boar bristle brush and go over it. So once again, I hold it in place, twisting the hair with the other hand and wrapping it into a bun where I want it. So this is what it looks like right now. Obviously, if you want to leave some front framing pieces down, I might do that as well, but I really like just pulling it up and having it look like Almost like the hair that when you were on the beach all day on vacation, this is what you do with your hair for dinner kind of vibe. The same as last time, we're going to take the bun, flip it inside out like this, secure it down, scooch it out of the way, and there we go. Okay, so this is kind of a domino effect with the hair. So what we're doing is we're taking this pieces of hair and we're pulling it back here and then we start looping in those back pieces and pulling those over as well and so on and so forth into the front pieces just like that so i'm going to secure this hair at the back there and it's going to look and it's going to look a little bit pointy at the top but we're going to tackle that with once again bobby pins so I'm going to push down on this hair where I want it and secure that with a bobby pin. The next step is that obviously all that hair that we pulled throughout is tucked in there. So I like to just secure at the base with bobby pins, ensuring that they grasp the hair and the bobby pin goes underneath the clip-in extension. So if this is the bun, you're taking your bobby pin, you're getting the hair, and then you're putting the bobby pin underneath that elastic to ensure that you're taking that hair and covering anything around the base we don't want anyone to see. I'm gonna take this little tail right here and I'm just going to secure it fully underneath the bun. And then I'm going to take some hairspray once again. I absolutely love this top knot. Again, this reminds me of when you go on vacation, you're at the beach all day, and then you have to get ready for a fancy dinner or a night out and your hair is wet and you just want to throw it up this is what you do so i'm starting out again with a boar bristle brush and i'm actually going to start at the center of my hair and i'm going to brush straight back along the entire crown of my head i'm going to go ahead with my front pieces and make sure that they are getting pulled into this in a smooth manner If you're struggling to get it smooth, another tip I like to use is to take some hairspray and then brush one more time on top of that. So brushing while the hairspray is still wet or tacky helps not only smooth the hair, but keep it in the place that you've just brushed it. A little different this time, I'm actually going to take this ponytail and secure it as a ponytail. Don't worry, we are not securing this bun over top of a ponytail, so I'm going to do what we've been doing, which is twisting the ponytail, our tried and true, taking some hairspray, twisting it around that base, and securing that. 
So this is the part we make sure that all of this is secure and where we want it to be. If you have flyaways like I do, I take a toothbrush, some pomade, I just dip it in there and run it over the flyaways. So now we are getting our bun back again. We are doing as we always do, we loosen it, flip it inside out, and then secure it onto our bun. That is what it looks like as it always does. And now we're going to start taking it and kind of doing the same wrap thing that we did with the top knot, but we want to be more polished. So I will actually use a comb as I go and make sure that the pieces are smooth and placed where I want them to be. As you can see, I basically just took individual pieces of hair and wrapped them around the base until I got to the center where I used some hairspray to make sure that the hair was tacky and did the same thing, but strategically placed it more so it had that polished finished look. I must say I'm absolutely in love with this look. I could see myself wearing this to a wedding, a fancy dinner, an important meeting. Those are the three hairstyles for today. If you want to see more hairstyles and how to achieve them with the clip and bun, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow us on our socials and feel free to tag us in any inspo pics you'd love to see us recreate. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!